Hey guys, Oster, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. And today we have a pretty exciting mod to review, as you guys have probably already seen by the thumbnail and the title. You know this is the most hyped mod yet for 1.12, but before we review it, I just want to say a little, a few quick announcements. One, uh, this this is like the la the the week that you're watching this video is like the last week for summer vacation for me, and then I go back to college. So this is going to be the last week where videos are. Um, well, I say that, but I was going to say videos are not pre-recorded. However, half of these will be pre-recorded just because I kind of want to test out how many videos I can get done in one day. So most of the videos you'll be seeing throughout this week that are like just with me in it will probably be um, all pre-recorded the previous Sunday, the 17th. Um, and they'll just be going out throughout the week. So in terms of you as newer viewers, for those that haven't been with me before, um, not too much is changing. The only thing that might happen is a few videos might be shortened. And um, that's not counting this week, but in the following weeks, depending on how my college schedule is, a few videos may be shortened um, that are normally longer. But and maybe I might cut out one or two series, or maybe limit them to every other week or something, depending. But all that will have to do with the like goals and essentially how how much support you guys show each series on the channel. So if th if this week is going to tell you guys anything, it's if you want a series to stay consistent. Show as much support as possible. Watch the video all the way through. Like it. Uh, com leave a comment saying like, hey, I'd really like this, this series to keep going. And stuff like that. Uh, I'm not saying I'm canceling any series. I'm just saying that if one doesn't show up for a certain period of time, that's because I haven't had time to do it. So what determines whether I prioritize that or not is all up to you guys. So uh, let's start things off with this series uh, for my Mod Showcase. If you guys want this Mod Showcase series to continue every week, I want to see this video try to hit 15 likes. Now, I know that's a steep goal, and it's been that goal for a bit now, but I think you guys can do it. And again, if the like goal does get hit, I will still try to do the thing where I reward you with double the videos the following week. But um, again, that's still going to be iffy depending. Um, so if you really want to see that, you're going to have to blow away the like goal. But for now, let's just try to hit the like goal. So again, 15 likes on this video. Let's see if we can do it. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So... Like I said, we're reviewing the Ked Kindler's Fidget Spinner mod. I tried to I tried to say that with as many accents as possible, but uh, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, my dude, I'm sorry. But let's get right into this. So the Fidget Spinner mod, what it will add into your world is these colorful fidget spinners. Are fidget spinners still even a thing? Like it's 2019, like August 2019, like late August 2019. Do fidget spinners still? Does, does anyone know fidget spinners are still a thing? Anyway. Um, now that we're getting around to reviewing it, might as well. So if you want to craft these fidget spinners, essentially what you will need to do is get four cobblestone. I know, most complicated crafting recipe ever. You definitely couldn't do this on day one, but you need four cobblestone. You place them in the crafting grid like so to kind of shape a fidget spinner. And once you get the fidget spinner, you can dye it any color you wish. So you will get like the default white fidget spinner. And then what you do is if you want to uh, make it any other specific color, you just add dye to the recipe. So I'm just going to really quickly show that. And then if you have fidget spinner already, you just add that dye to the fidget spinner of the crafting grid. And that is what will happen. So pretty much just every dye in Minecraft, you can make a fidget spinner for that color. It's really cool. Personally, of course, red is my favorite color. So I'm going to stick with the red one and show that one off. But they all function the exact same. There's no um, difference between them. And you're probably asking yourselves, well, Austin... What do, what do the fidget spinners do? What is their primary purpose? What is their motivation in life? Well, let me tell you. So we're going to grab my red fidget spinner. I have it in my hand right now. I'm even going to go in survival mode because uh, it's going to get crazy, guys. So once I have the fidget spinner, it is crafted. You put it in your hand, and it spins. You don't have to right-click. You don't have to do anything. Once you have it in your hand, it will spin. I can even put it in my offhand, and it will spin also. Like, hey, what if I want two different ones? All right, let's grab the, uh, the black fidget spinner. Let's put the black fidget spinner in my offhand. And then look, I've got two fidget spinners going at once. It's insane. I know right here. Wait, can we get a close-up image of this? Yes, look at the fidget spinners there. <laughs> All right, guys. Personally, I've never actually owned a fidget spinner in real life. I know this was like a trending thing for a while. But like, I guess you could say I won one at a carnival, but it like broke the next day. So I never really got to enjoy the fidget spinners. But, and I didn't feel like pot buying one because they didn't seem worth it to me. But yeah. So I got two fidget spinners, and if you want to know how to deactivate them, you just essentially move them out of your, uh, like you don't hold them anymore, and they'll stop spinning, like how it would work in real life. Well, kind of. Uh, and if you want to keep them spinning, there's something I figured out while setting up the showcase. If it's spinning while in your hand, you throw it in a chest, 
It'll spin while in the chest. It's kind of funny. The only way to stop it while spinning in the chest is just to grab it back in your hand. But there is something I wanted to do to make this showcase longer than just three minutes. Um, I'm going to try to successfully have every spinner spinning in this chest. Now, this is pretty uh, interesting. How am I going to do this? I guess I can do... Oh, wait. No, that won't work. Okay, so spin, spin... I should have had them spinning like this to begin with. What was I thinking? All right, and throw all the rest of these in here. Honestly, this is pretty much just the quality of life mod. It's not meant to do anything specific into your world. Like, what would have been cool is if instead of crafting these, you had to find them in dungeon chests. That would have made it a little bit more interesting. But crafting them is still, nonetheless, pretty easy. Um, of course, if you guys want to... You know, I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this for my uh, thumbnail. So give me that. But if you guys want what you could do is like set these up in item frames maybe. Actually, we're going to try that right now. Let me go back into creative mode and grab some item frames. And I'm curious if I, uh, if I put an item frame like right here. And let me just grab one. If it is spinning and I put in the item frame, will it still be spinning? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's, that's amazing. So literally you could have these things like... Just an item frame spinning under walls for decoration. That's um, that's hilarious. Um, and don't worry, guys. This mod will be added into the uh, into the possible selection for DLC two for our Project Ultra series because I know that's our primary concern right now. Is this mod gonna be added in? The chan the the answer is maybe, maybe it will. But um, that's pretty much all there is to show for this mod. I know this is a really quick mod showcase. I promise it wasn't intentional since I said it was pre-recording. And before anyone's like, oh no, he's pre-recording all of his videos now, that means they suck. No, it doesn't mean that. For some reason, whenever you tell your audience that you're going to pre-record videos, half of the viewership just stops watching. And it doesn't make sense to me, but I've noticed that not only on my channel, but on other YouTube channels also that are way more popular than my own. For some reason, when you tell your audience you're pre-recording a video, they like just stop watching. But when you don't tell them, they're like, why is this video shorter? What's happening? Why do you seem like you're rushing it? And then you tell them and they're like, oh, then I just won't watch. Like, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, nothing should change too drastically. I'm still going to try to do everything as um, originally planned. I think I am going to have an announcement video going out on uh, the following week right before. Or maybe that'll be replacing the mod showcase for the, for the following Monday just to explain kind of what it's going to be like in full depth. But I thought I would warn you guys ahead of time, a week ahead of time, just to say. And I'll also put something in the community tab as well so you guys do... Um, like kind of have an idea of what's happening but alas that's where we're going to include this much show guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did remember to smash that like button share your support subscribe if you are new and the download first model will be linked in the description if you want to download for yourself and check it out and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye